Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman and uh, today in this video I am going to do some simulations on this Weldment model which is uh, actually a um, chair and uh, I will do three simulations to calculate its displacements, uh, displacement and the factor of safety. So uh, keep watching this video till end. Let's start this is the model and uh, I want to simulate it by using SolidWorks simulation. So now what we have to do click on uh, new study here and then select static press ok button. So one by one we have to uh, or step by step we have to do this simulation. So first step is that we have to define the material for uh, this model. For that right click on the model name and then select apply material to all bodies and uh, then select um, your desired material and then select apply and close. So after adding the material uh, we have to determine uh, which parts of our uh, weldment model will be simulated. So as you can see this is not a weldment part the, also this is not a weldment part. So what we have to do we have to exclude all non weldment parts from our assembly. So for that you can click on these um, parts and you will see um, automatically on the feature manager those parts will be selected. So select right click on the uh, part and then select exclude from as, uh, analysis. So one by one you can exclude them from the analysis or you can also uh, select multiple by press and hold control key and select multiple atoms. So once you have uh, um, pure weldment model then uh, scroll down from here and uh, first of all you have to define from where your model will be fixed. So right click on the fixture and then select fixed geometry. On the right side, uh, on the left side, uh, you will see these options. So select joint option from here and then select this joint, this joint, this joint and this joint. So our part or our model will be fixed from these four joints. Then press OK button. Now we have to define uh, what is our load. So for that right click on the external load and then select force. So now in the force option you will you will also see these options. So from here select beam and then select this beam and this beam. Then scroll down and select the direction by clicking on this, uh, this box and then select this line. Again scroll down and turn on force make it on the reverse direction by uh, checking this box and uh, then type here the force that you want to add in this model so for example if you don't know what is the exact force uh, for your model uh, you can calculate it uh, by using calculator let me show you how so let's assume um, if a person who is going to sit on this chair has the weight of 80 kg. So weight is 80 kg which is multiplied by 9.8 which is gravity. As you know the formula for uh, the force is mass into acceleration or gravity. So the mass is 80 kg and gravity is 9.8 meters per second square so uh, we got the exact force 784 or 784 newton you can put it here 784 newton and then press ok button so we have we have done all initial conditions of our model now we can make the mesh right click on the mesh and then select create mesh so uh, this is the mesh quality you can adjust it according to your uh, desire then press ok button to create the mesh. So um, here the mesh has been generated 
now ki we can run this study so for that click on this button run this study so now if you can see uh, we are facing this error model is unstable how can we resolve this issue we can resolve this issue very simple uh, by very simple way you can right click on the study name here on the top um, and then go to properties and in the properties turn on or check this box automatic solver selection and press ok button then recreate the mesh and rerun the study so mesh is once again generated and now i'm going to run this study so our study is now complete stress this is the dis displacement of our model and uh, one thing which is very important to know is that uh, so as you can see there there is a very large displacement in this model so this is not actual displacement because uh, when you right click on the displacement and then go to edit definition so deformation shape it is by default selected automatic and in the automatic if you can see this is 192 times uh, greater than the actual deformation so you can turn on the true scale to see um, the exact or actual displacement in your model so select true scale and then press ok button so this would be the actual displacement uh, which will occur in your model you can also animate it by right click and then select animate so this is the animation speed um, you can reduce it so this this is the um, maximum displacement now another thing which is very important is that um, is this model uh, strong enough to uh, bear the load of uh, 80 kg man or not so we can do or we can solve this issue by um, calculating the factor of safety so for that right click on the results and then go to define factor of safety plot and then from here select all click on next multiplication factor 1 next and factor of safety distribution and then press ok button so here is the minimum factor of safety which is 5.2 and it means that this model is ok to manufacture because the factor of safety must be above 1 so now um, let's try another simulation by increasing the force to 4 times so for that right click on the force here and then add a definition scroll down and here in on the value of the force star for multiply by 4 so and then let's see so this is the 3 uh, 3136 newton force now so now once again we um, are going to run this study to see what happens if we increase the force now um, first of all let's see what is the factor of safety and it is 1.3 and uh, the displacement this is the maximum displacement in our model you can see so um, by watching this factor of safety which is 1.3 which means that still this model is okay to manufacture and now um, once again multiply uh, that factor of safety uh, instead of 4 uh, this time let's say multiply by 2 and see what happens once again run this study so this is the maximum displacement animate and then the factor of safety so if you can see 0 0.65 is uh, now minimum factor of safety uh, which means that the model will break when we put that force uh, on this model so this is how you can do the uh, solid wax simulation on uh, the weldments model 
so i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this